to our lungs, our, our big lungs here. Oh, so this is, so what is this? I, obviously this is a lung scanning thing? Yep, so it's basically, it's used in the diagnosis of lung cancer. Mm. And so this robot arm will be controlled by the physician from like the joystick or the control station. Over there? there. So there, once it's set up, they'll mount the arm of the robot to the patient's ET tube. Mm -hmm. And then they'll control it from there and they'll drive the robot catheter, which is that little cable. Okay, let me see. That small little cable yeah. will drive uh, in, All the things in through up. the bronchus of the lungs. Uh, and then they'll, they'll basically use the patient's CT scan, which shows where the tumor was. And they're, they're, it creates a path, they kind of like follow your GPS. Yeah. And they'll basically follow the GPS from the screen mm -hmm. and navigate to where the tumor is so they can take a biopsy. And so 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 they will input the CT scan yep. in the system. That's right. And then hit and then the system uses its um, its its software that it has, mm -hmm. its proprietary software that basically creates a three dimensional airway tree and a pathway to get to the tumor using the airways that it picked up on the CT scan. So the physician over there with a the joystick remotely. Mm -hmm. They have control over it? Or it? They control everything. It doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. So the second their hands are off, everything is frozen in space. It won't move. It oh. stays where it is. Oh, okay. Oh, it just died. But so they this... can use it like a, they have a turning wheel, like a steering wheel and a gas pedal over there. Oh, okay. Drive it and steer it and navigate through the bronchus to mm. get to where the tumor is. Mm. And then it park it there and then take some biopsies and then ideally they use, you know, they have uh, someone like... So, so like previously, how they use used to go turn when they didn't upper well, GI the and turn and, and then yeah, they don't there. do that again. Now they just do this. Okay. Okay. And it That's basically has fiber optic cables that run through the day. catheter that mm -hmm. tell the system where it is at all times. Yeah. And what's the name of the company? The company is Intuitive. Uh -huh. And the robot is called Ion. Like Ion. Ion. Oh, Ion. Okay. And how new is this technology? I, it's it's probably at this point it's probably three years old sorry. two years it's probably three years old mm -hmm. um, but we've been here uh, for about a year mm -hmm. not maybe not even a full year and they just finished their hundredth procedure oh so wow. that's why we're hundred procedure the here at Mondefiore yep it's um, upstairs it's at the GA? group so it's um, oh. Dr. Shah Dr. DeCosta Dr. Kim Dr. Sadugi mm -hmm. um, <laughs> okay. yeah I did and they're all getting busier doing more stuff and they've yeah. got some other technology which is advanced up there that helps with the accuracy yeah uh, so uh -oh. they can really confidently get into very cool okay we're going to set that up so that people can actually see how it works mm. that's fun yeah do you do public um, like awareness pub, go to public events we do some like some of the uh, society meetings we always have a presence at like if it's like you know uh, like a pulmonology thing or STS. Oh, okay. uh, I think the ATS just had the American Thoracic Society yeah. meeting, so we had presence there. So that's a lung. And I guess this is representing the alveoli. Yep, these are our lungs, and then maybe these some tumors. Yeah. And then we have some software that we generate. See, this is how we work here. So this would be the, the patient's lung from the CT scan. This would be the pre-planned path, like the GPS that I just mentioned. Yeah. And then this will be the live image once we hook it up. actually hook it up. So then as they drive, the system, you're basically going to be watching the windshield mm -hmm. of your car with the yeah. GPS following so yourself. I guess this is, yep, that's this, your is camera. this is the camera. That's right. You look at inside. Okay. So you can go and navigate. Yep. And they'll do everything from right here. So they'll, they'll literally just be driving. They'll be right over the patient, but they'll be driving and turn that mm. Technology. Yeah, right? And, and this proved to be way more accurate in finding the tumor. It's, it's, it's more stability mm. on the platform, and it's okay. very thin of a catheter, mm -hmm. so it allows them to get much further out than okay. other technologies allow. Okay, because this alone. Because that's just that's three millimeters, pinpoint. you know, as opposed to yeah. you know five or six or whatever. Yeah. And the airways, as you get further out, just get smaller and smaller. More, so more, they were yeah. very limited before. Yeah. And now they can pretty much get anywhere in the lung. Okay. Good. You ready? Absolutely. So I can see how well it's going to show me. Okay. Do I have one? I can get one. And I can rotate. It. Wow. Oh. <laughs> there you go. 
Yeah. Oh, ninja love. I was trying to get a purple white from the You think purple white is going to work? So, for smokers. Yep. Anybody that anybody that comes into the hospital that has a nodule that they have identified, they can basically, you know, be seen by one of the pulmonologists here. Wow. And, um, so the first thing they'll do is they match up the images. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good. Yes. They'll accept it, and then basically they do what they call a registration, which would be to match the CT image with the live image to make sure that they, the, the image is correlate. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then they would basically, at that point, be ready to actually do the procedure. The whole, the whole thing could take, you know, 20 minutes. It could take a little bit longer, depending on how many biopsies you're doing, yeah. how tumors you're going to. So prior to this, those robotic things, how long would the same procedure take? Uh, it might take a uh, similar time, mm -hmm. uh, but potentially longer and also they were much more limited in what they were able to go after mm -hmm. so there would be patients that they would say okay that tumor is too small too far mm -hmm. um, I can't get there so they would just put the patient potentially into like a watchful waiting category where they would keep getting get skin it. until yeah they, get it but now they as soon as they see something they feel confident that they can go and get it so instead of having the patient wait you know, mm -hmm. and keep getting scanned every few months. They can. Now they can go after it right away. And then so an early intervention so they can get yeah, the, it back. The, the goal of the organization and why we kind of came up with the technology mm -hmm. was to help with the stage shifting to be able to diagnose things sooner, to get treatment sooner, because lung cancer survivability, mm -hmm. the five-year rate is, is much lower than other cancers. I mean, you're talking, you know, 19% five-year survival rate for lung cancer. Okay. And most of that reason is because everything is diagnosed much later. Much later. So the idea would be to diagnose it sooner, get to treatment sooner, and have them in that one, you know, stage one category getting diagnosed. Yeah, instead of going to stage, stage four. three. Well, four. So, so let me ask you something. With this robotic arm here, is the technology advanced yet that the surgeon could be in another building? No, not yet. Not and yet. I, I don't know that it will get there, and I don't know that that's really our goal. On the we make the Da Vinci robot also, so mm -hmm. that's the one that's used upstairs in the operating room that's used for minimally invasive surgery. Mm -hmm. The goal for that technology was initially what you just said. Right. So that was like actually a military project, right. looking to have surgeons, you know, not need to be on the on the battlefield and treat them appropriately. But that was abandoned. Um, and they just they went with the hard wiring technology because it delays you know, in the, time in the, and stuff like yeah that. yeah because wireless is so the goal here is more not to eliminate the physician not to make it in another room but to be able to be more stable uh, to have a technology that offers all that computer information that you know from from the CT scan and as well as other information that this platform provides which is you know for example the purple line there the purple on top. Yeah. That's an auto-generated pleura border to let them know where the boundary of the lung is okay. to help them prevent them okay. from getting from through it to yes. giving them a pneumothorax. pneumothorax. And okay. so the, traditionally the, the the rate of pneumothorax on it's this less. platform is significantly less. Okay. You know, if you're talking about like interventional radiology, yeah, the yeah. needle biopsy well, in the ribs, that's like a 15 to 25 percent pneumothorax rate, whereas this is like one percent. So, so that's that's another you know sort of added benefit. So can my friend here go and do this? Or is it, can she try? I, I'll let you try. Go, go, go. <laughs> because she deals with the pain, you know. She's the pain director here. I'll let you try. So this is my gas pedal, and this is my steering. See, this is my windshield of the car. This is sort of like you're looking at your GPS. So when I drive, I'm mostly looking at the windshield like you would when you're driving a car. But I am also kind of peeking back and forth to the left like you would with a GPS. And I'm following that blue line. To just try to, it's basically, this is the blue line that's taking me to the tumor. Okay. So as I back up, the drive forward, like you step on the gas first, right? So drive forward first, and then as you drive, you try to stay in the center as much as you can. Alright, so that's all. Thank you. Yeah, please. Thank you. 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 Thank you